people. Welcome back. More of my why. So today is Monday, and that means that we are using U Belt Arch Fiends. So hopefully this goes well. I out of all the decks that have like a very hard time, it's been U Belt Arch Fiends. Like sometimes the deck does, you know, it's not it's, it's kinda slow in comparison to the other one. It has combos, but it takes a little bit longer to get to the combos and I believe I said I was gonna make a change to the deck, but I didn't. Anyway, I opened up fine. Yeah. I think if Eris wasn't in this deck, this deck wouldn't really be anything. Because <laughs> Eris is like, oh, thank god I didn't draw you, Bell. Whew! Whew! You know what I meant? This is the one time where I'm actually glad I didn't draw the sixth card. You know? You know, usually you go first, you only draw five, and you're like, well, one less draw. See, if I would have drew, I would have drew the Bell, and then I would, you know, I would have messed up my combo. The classic combo, the Armageddon Knight, drop your Bell, set the limit reverse. Then that would have been done for. But because. I didn't draw my six card, it worked out totally fine. Thank you. Wow, my opponent's not going to uh, summon anything. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I heard Gores is a pretty good card. Not summon anything, not set anything, not do anything. Just. Man, like, okay. Okay, sir. So I see you. I'm gonna go ahead and drop Ares and Ares. Um, go ahead and get me a, a Ferris Arch and a Ferrisness. So I was gonna drop him to like one, because I really don't use him that often. Let's see if I get gorsed. Iris gorsed. I was like, I was like, okay. Like you gonna summon gorsed? No regeki you because I can summon terror. So I was like I say, gorsed is a pretty good card. <laughs> that man just wanted the gorsed. Like okay, fine. Guess could have exceeded, but it's in okay right now. So I miss. I am I to assume that that's a mirror force? Because at this point, I really don't care if it's a mirror force. I should just pop it. You know what? I should just pop it. I should just summon Eris and pop it. Ah, oh, but I have Mass Chameleon. Like I said, Eris is just like the, the center center point of this fucking deck. I almost click show my fucking extra deck. I think that asks you if you want to show it. I forgot to put this in here. Why not? I like this guy. I want to get one. Let me get one. I, mean, I have just a random assortment of extra deck cards, just because why the fuck not? I don't know. I said, if it's a mirror force, I think it might just be a mirror force, in which case I really don't care. I might just summon Archery and just continue poking. Yeah, alright, fuck it. It's mirror force, I don't care. You know, two Armageddon Knights have already served their purpose, and the Ferris Arch and the Ferrisness wants to be in the graveyard, so. So I think I'll just sit here and just wreck your face. I don't even know what deck you're playing. Like, all I saw so far is Gores. Like, I'm not even doing anything. I haven't even gotten to the juicy plays yet. All I've been doing is just sitting here poking you. Really, nigga? Oh, okay. Drew Terror. What is your deck? Is this game? Wow. I don't know if you were just running a fucking deck full of fucking high level monsters or what, but like oh summon gores and then that's all I got. Wow, okay. I was about to accept you and all of a sudden you left and then someone else popped in before I could click it. So I don't care. I like scissors, so I don't care if you go first, so you don't care if you go second, I don't care. This name is this man is Acid Golem. Hmm. It's not the best of hands, but it's not the worst of hands either. So go ahead and summon Dark Graffer. Give the fat. Send the Eris to send. I'll send you Bell for right now. Yeah, because Mask Cranny like a block block the field. Got falling down with the Emperor. So what deck are you playing, sir? Rhoda. Search the net. Battling Boxers. Oh, that should be interesting. So, 
You want to get that lead blowjob, huh? Oh, those are pretty popular nowadays. <laughs> Trying to think of how I'm gonna deal with lead blood because I know he's coming. Uh huh. Yep. Mm. Okay. Dark Griffin lives another day. That's fine. Doesn't background on your turn? You can't. Yeah. Not Dr. Battlefest. Like, nigga, it's your deck. Wow, you're not gonna say any back row. Nigga, like, I'm gonna fucking just 101 Castell your ass. Like, are you fucking shitting me? Like, okay. Negus. Some main face one. Wow. <sighs> I'm not gonna play any back row. Like I guess this man's just like he has, he just has his lead blow on the mind. Like all he's gonna do is just summon lead blow, lead blow, lead blow. I'm not gonna set that right now. Go ahead. I don't need it. I have you bell on the field. You bell's effect is negated by uh mass command. So Uh, oh, almost a terror effect. No effect. Mm hmm. So I'm gonna switch hitter, switch hitter, go ahead and summon one, and I guess you're gonna go for lead blow again. You can only summon battling blocks or monsters. Unless you want to summon that new guy. Nope, no lead blow. Alright. Oh, okay. You want to increase it by a thousand? Sure. Go ahead, I guess. Damn. I can summon you battle a hell of a lot. No, I'm going to take it slow. Yeah, because you can't get around Terra right now. I'll say one limit reverse just in case. I'm not having to attack next to material, go up to 3,000, I don't care. Mm hmm. I could. Go ahead and dark hole and turn into Ultimate Nightmare. Because why the fuck not? Then he'd be totally fucked. I might go ahead and just go ahead and summon Emperor and have Emperor uh, banish Eris to pop his back row, then dark hole. Just so uh, I don't have to worry about anything happening in Ultimate Nightmare. I don't care about this. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Almost one. <laughs> my effect. Oh, I'll go ahead and banish. Go ahead and pop. 
Like, clear that out because I'm about to go into fucking. And I was gonna say, I can only summon fiend type monsters this turn, right? You can also summon type monsters, except fiend type monsters. That's fine because I'm about to summon Ultimate Nightmare, so. That's totally fine. Alright. Back hole. And then you get your effect, and I get my effect. Is your effect mandatory? Sure, it's going to come back. You can tell you when I'm buying books. Uh, want your effect? He doesn't activate, so it'd be channeling one and channeling two. Alright. Oh. Okay. Ultimate Nightmare. Attack. You take your monsters attack and it is destroyed. So 3,500. 3,800. 3,800 is just like, just ultimate, it's just like, BAM! <laughs> You're just like, oh. <laughs> Isn't he 3,800? Eh, whatever. I think he's 3,800. So, I don't know what this card is, but you're gonna summon him. He's gonna send Glassjaw. Glassjaw, oh, nope. You take this top deck of Photon Thrasher. Alright. I thought you were gonna use him, send Glassjaw. Glassjaw, get your effect to add. Okay, I'm still reading your plays. I just didn't calculate the top deck of the Photon Thrasher. Yeah, and I was like, you're gonna get a uh, Spire. Or some inspire. Can't conduct your battle phase, but you know, you can one on one or cast down my uh, Ultra Nightmare, so. Ooh! All of them. Damn, alright. This negate the effects of the opponent's monster until the end phase of the turn. That monster you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, your opponent takes any damage you are attacking from the battle. I mean, you know I still get my effect in the graveyard, but I, I don't even want to argue it, but I would. Foolish. I'm gonna go ahead and drop Eris. I oh, know I have another Eris. Eris, get your effect. Go ahead and get me Calvary. Go ahead and summon Calvary. Falling down. Give me your monster. And I believe that's game. Yep, that's what? 44? Yeah, I'm gonna drop Calvary down to one. We want some. There we go. Tack. Tack. Falling down nice and powerful. It's not still banned, but I still got falling down. Why did you only take 17? Damn. You also did your math wrong before. Damn. 25. It's game. Even up here. Even if you, it was 17, still be game because you didn't take the fucking. For what? From what? Let's say from what? Minus 800 attack. From what? What possibly. Where does anything say to, I take 800 damage? You're reading this card wrong. You're reading your cards or you're reading my cards wrong. Alright, we'll get one more going. Let's say after this. Uh, if I remember, which I probably won't, 
Damn, we got some high rated people. All right, let's see what they're using. They'll probably kick my butt real quick. Like I said, this is one of the weaker, slower decks. When it when it has its combos, it has its combos. But when, but it's still slower paced, much slower paced than the other decks on my line. Some of them. Sounds bad. I didn't get any dark monsters. That's really, that's really sad. You know. But the fact that all the monsters in the deck are dark, except for Mask Man. Everybody else is dark. Like, hello? No, no, no. The fairy touching the fairy this isn't dark. Mm-hmm. What's this, Danclaw? Some Bubble Man. Okay. Blade Armor? No, King of the Throne. Okay. I really hope I draw an Arch Fiend just so I can activate Falling Down, take it, and then use its effect. <laughs> so, Mask King, you can bring back Goblin. Sucks that Goblin makes like Armageddon Knight this timing because I, you know, I would like to use him, but wow, all right, and my hand just keeps getting worse and worse. The question is, can I take another hit? I don't think I can. And it just does a dark hole on him. Like wow. Where, where are all the darks? Where are the darks? There's so many dark monsters in this deck. Yeah, I don't get any. Like, alright, thank you. Woo! This man said double reckless. Like, alright. Alright, one. I know you got plays for me. You got fucking seven cards that you are fucking four turns ahead of me and I'm already drawing terribly like oh hell no. I'm about to get wrecked. That's why this card is so powerful. Especially stacking with itself like mm -mm. this card should be at one. <sighs> Excuse me. Come on hurry up and own this duel. I know I'm gonna lose. I opened up terrible, so. Like huge. It's not the way about getting Exiton, right? He is definitely up on resources. Mm -hmm. Oh, Synchro Summon. Me too. Hot. Scrap. Sup. Stardust, okay. I'll take that 800. Please don't tell me his deck is assault mode. Because that's the only time I see people summon Stardust is for assault mode. It's been a cool minute since we saw Stardust being used, so... <sighs> of course, I'm sorry, Geki. Like, wow, where, where, where are all my dark monsters? Like, I would really like a dark monster. I didn't think it was too much to fucking ask for, but... Sure. Like, wow, my deck just doesn't want to cooperate with me. I said I was going to lose it, so... I guess I spoke it into being that I'm just going to fucking lose this duel. Wait, you had a Rodin and you didn't play it last turn? Like, why didn't you play it last turn? Dexen. Oh, no, I guess you couldn't draw it anyway, so. Well, I 
Because, like, you're going to send Cyril Dragon. Should have one of my cards, which it really doesn't matter. If I don't draw Drock Monster next turn, I'm just going to quit. I mean, I probably should quit anyway, but... I can draw my second Dark Hole. Hmm, they're a Dark Monster. I said maybe I should draw you down to one, then you'd be a number generator card, and I could just always pitch you a Dark Graffer. I'll see if he negates this. He has like an MST or something. Finally drew a dark monster. Oh. I don't even know who's son. Yeah, this is still game. Thought I had a plan, but I forgot it. No, wait, I didn't use my normal normal summon. No, I didn't use my normal summon. I guess I'll go ahead and get uh, Calvary. Normal summon. Activate falling down. Can you start us? Finally drew a dark monster. I wonder how Stardust works. Does it just return to the original? I think it goes to his graveyard and it would be someone to his side of the field. So, if you have to wait, it's like Mirror Force or something and I negate it with Stardust, then I'm gonna get it anyway. Oh wow. Uh, go ahead. During each of your opponent's standby phases, so. You can draw. Yeah, okay. Well, I tried to I put up a fight at the end. I said he's still he's still up on the resources. I I'm in I have control, but I know he has the resources to get out of the situation. I know he can. It's not that hard. But just summon something to kill my cavalry, then this would go, and then you would get your stars back, kill my dark Grefford, and hit me directly. So you just gotta summon something with enough oomph to. Not only run over my Dark Reffer, but then also finish me off with the Stardust Attack. So you need something that's like 1900 or more. Well, you gotta kill my, uh. Denklaw. I remember I used to like. like heroes. Not like them, just not hate them. No, just, just like. Dark Hole. Yeah, that's good. There's no way in fuck I can get out of this. Even the Regeki, because you're going to get your status back. As soon as you kill my cavalry, you get your status back, so. Now you're just going to kill your own status. Wow, you misplayed. Alright. You gonna get your uh, Anki effect? It's about battle, it sends it to the graveyard, yeah. So, I'm gonna go ahead and form change it up. Now Dark Wall? No, no, Acid. And then, destroy all and if you do all monsters, the control is 300 attack. So I lose 300 attack, I'm down to 16, so I'll take a thousand. As soon as you declare your attack, I'll take a thousand. Now change one more time. No? 
Please let me top deck a monster. Please, just let me go Regeki summon a monster attack game. I don't care about that. Please, just let me top deck a monster. A fucking Emperor, I don't care. It's been, I haven't seen Emperor all duel. I'll take Emperor. I'll go Emperor effect, pop that, Regeki, attack game. Like, please. No, I don't even set my background. <sighs> monster. That's the perfect monster. Am I again, right? What? Like, did I did I win this? Did I win this? Oh my god, if I won this. Like I said, if he stops his play, then he wins, but Or if he has Jack Row to stop my play, then he wins. But like can I can I come back into this? Can I actually win this duel? I can like terrible opening hand. Gaki. Do I got it? Do I win? Did you get it? I was just talking about how Nicky wasn't gonna help me, but since he killed the Stardust, like yes. All right. Attack. I won. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I say it that. Like, what the fuck is your back row? Form change and bottomless. Oh, oh, oh! Armageddon night. Oh my God! Wow. Armageddon for the win. Yeah, Armageddon for the win. If it was anything else, I would have got bottomless. Anything else, but nope, Armageddon Knight's like, dude, I got you. He's at 14. 14 perfectly summoned. Nope, can't bottomless me. Regeki, bam. Whew. And if it doesn't matter if one change, because he will switch and then chain resolves backwards. So he got regeki anyway, so it doesn't matter. But, whew. Yeah. All right, thank you, Armageddon Knight. That fucking best top deck ever. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Rhyming Wise. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Plague Wishes Bell. All right, people. Thanks for watching.